Are you making something or doing something but don't know how to get the right attention for it? This is Brian J. Pombo and today I'm going to be going over this book, Show Your Work. Watch me as I talk. This is uh, Show Your Work, Austin Kleon. This was a really good book. I, I read this after I read one of the other books he has out, Steal Like an Artist. That's a very good one. We'll talk about that another time. But this one is really interesting. There's some great ideas presented here. 10 ways to share your creativity and get discovered. So there's 10 different chapters, each one presenting a different idea. Just looking on the back side of this, it has a list of all the chapters. Check this out. You don't have to be a genius. Think process, not product. Share something small every day. Open up your cabinet of curiosities. Tell good stories. Teach them what you know. Don't turn into human spam. Learn to take a punch. Sell out. Stick around. I could write a book about each chapter in this book. That's how deep some of these ideas are, even though they come off very simple to begin with. I'm going to touch on three different ideas in this. Chapter three, share something small every day. And in this chapter, he actually brings up a, a really good point about building a good domain name. It comes off of the idea of building a good name for yourself to begin with. A lot of people get caught up with each individual social media site out there. Does anyone remember MySpace or Friendster? I mean, these guys aren't even around anymore. But if you get caught up with one social media, you're only as good as that social media will take you. There's a lot of people on YouTube completely dependent on YouTube and YouTube funding. And one of the things I've been trying to get my friends to do is to pull as much away as possible. Use YouTube for what it's worth, but depend more on your own domain name. And he goes through that on in here about actually buying a domain name with your name in it, building a case for yourself. He says, don't think of your website as a self-promotion machine. Think of it as a self-invention machine. Online, you can become the person you really want to be. Fill your website with your work and your ideas and the stuff you care about. In another spot, he says here, when she was young and starting out, Patty Smith got the advice from William Burroughs. Build a good name. Keep your name clean. Don't make compromises. Don't worry about making a bunch of money or being successful. Be concerned with doing good work. And if you can build a good name, eventually that name will be its own currency. That's, that's really a deep idea, a deep concept that You'll never learn in school, even if you go to business school. Building a name is the most basic form of branding, and it's something that anybody can use as long as you're productive. If you're a productive person and you're making something or wanting to do something for other people, then you have to really think about making a name for yourself. And with the Internet, it makes it possible unlike any other time before in history. Chapter 8, Learn to Take a Punch. Boy, this is a huge deal. For people who are actually putting themselves out there, I, I've had this conversation with a handful of people who are very active on, on YouTube, blogs, and one of the things that bothers them the most is dealing with all of the criticism, critics, trolls, all the nasty people out there that just want to make fun or pick apart. It's really an important point, and one, one will probably swing back around to another time. The important part of building thick skin, building rhinoceros skin to all forms of criticism and not caring about what other people think of you is a really tough thing, especially for artists. People that come from an artist background a lot of times have a tough time with that because they build up their whole world around getting approval. They don't know how to turn that off when it comes to negative approval. Chapter 10 is called Stick Around. Don't quit your show. Quote in here, he says, You can't count on success. You can only leave open the possibility for it and be ready to jump on and take the ride when it comes for you. The point of the book 
is to show what you're doing. Get out there, get on YouTube, get on a blog, get out in social media and start showing people what you're actually doing and what your influences are. I mean, as I'm doing right here, I'm showing you one of my influences. This book really was a major push to, for me to start doing this vlog on a regular basis. There's just some really great nuggets. It's a short book. It's a, it's a little book, relatively large writing, especially for people who may not always read books. This is a great one. If you're wanting to find ways to get discovered, you've got to read Show Your Work by Austin Kleon. Really great stuff. I'll be bringing up more stuff about him and his other books in later vlogs. On the next vlog. On the next on the next vlog. On the next vlog, we're going to be discussing the exact type of person who should not be watching these vlogs. It's a complete waste of time. In fact, it'll make them tear their hair out if they watch too long because I'm just going to drive you crazy. Probably. I don't have anything else to say. Until next time, adios. Adios. There's a trailer down below here for uh, the Show Your Work book. There's also another review for Show Your Work. You can check out the links for those in the description. And you can find out more about me at brianjpombo.com.